Hello and welcome to Greater Talks. Please don't forget to like, comment and most importantly to subscribe to my channel. With the South African Music Awards done and dusted, it comes as no surprise that many artists are in their feelings about the events of that night. One such artist is Lady Du, who has come out to accuse Musa Keys and his manager Nivo of purchasing their South African Music Award. Now, Musa Keys walked away with the Record of the Year Award this past weekend. And taking to Twitter, Lady Du said, I'd like to ask if nepotism works also at award ceremonies. How does a person get a tender for organizing artists to perform on stage? Then the artist he is managing gets the biggest award of the night. I want to know because you South Africans are quiet. I won't be, she said. Now, Lady Do does have a point. It's a bit weird how a music manager whose artist is nominated for an award at a certain award ceremony can be awarded a tender by that very same award ceremony to organize those awards. That's just conflict of interest on steroids, if you ask me. It's clear to me that that organization running the summers honestly doesn't give a damn. Those awards are run like a spaza shop at this point, And I'm sure they just said, screw professionalism and conflict of interest. We'll just do whatever benefits us the most. Now, while I can fully critique Musaki's manager and the summers for the whole conflict of interest issue, the whole buying of the award is a whole nother separate issue on its own. Because for those of you who don't know, the Record of the Year Award is one of those awards where the winner is voted for by the public. So the person who ends up winning the award is the one who gets the most votes from the public. And controversial music executive Nota Valoi, who is quite familiar with the ins and outs of the South African music industry, did come out over the weekend to say that what artists do when they want to win the Record of the Year award is that they'll buy 100,000 rands worth of SIM cards, for example, and use them to cast as many votes as possible. So it's definitely possible that Musa Keys and his manager, especially as someone who worked to organize the events and probably knew it was possible, did this as well. It's definitely an unethical practice, but what can we expect when you have such awards that can be voted for by the public? At the end of the day, at the end of the day, artists do want exposure and most importantly to increase their charge rates, and you can only do that when you have, say, awards behind your name and all of that. Now Nevo did come out to slam Lady Do's insinuation on his Instagram by saying I guess a multi-platinum selling record from an artist who's selling out arenas as far as Australia isn't good enough for record of the year. Tell me what you think about this whole situation down below. Do you think Musa Keys and his manager bought their record of the year South African Music Award as Lady Do has suggested? Thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.